Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, thank you all for the congratulations yesterday on my birthday, in today's video, of course again, yeah, I'm still recovering a little bit, a few drinks yesterday with my family, but in today's video, we have like five amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, talking about the news, answering the question of one of the followers, and of course also ending it with an inspirational quote, if I have enough energy, but I will. Let's jump into the charts first to show exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. The four hour chart clearly gave that sell signal. I told you that moment, if we close down Lori Ellis stepping line, sell your trade or exit your trade because yeah we went in the two here we took some profit and then it's time to sell and um, if you look at this chart yes there's a lot of gaps over here in the volume we can even fall back to 67 200 uh, before we move on or we need to break this volume area over here this uh, high volume to go into the 71k levels again so like i told you a couple of days ago you know when we broke out and we bounced this dollar line and we would go up to there yeah we had a target when we reached these targets we go sideways for some time and that sideways movement can take another week or something before we move on but there is some charts that are indicating to me that we will make a bullish move very soon so for example if we zoom out to this one this one over here is uh, the weekly chart on this weekly chart you can see what is happening at the moment at that bottom indicator and there's a very important indicator over here that bottom indicator is a stock rsi and that stock rsi is a very important one look what happened we just saw a bullish cross the blue line crossed above that red line now you look back in history what happened every time when we saw such a cross now the time before that was over here what happened with bitcoin at that moment, Bitcoin price was over there. We went up at 60%. 60% move. Okay? Now, that's the first one. Now, then we go to the time before that. It was over here. A bullish cross. There. We were at this level over here. We went up with all the way to the top over there. Bam. 66%. Now, we go back to the time before. It was over here. A small one. But still, it was a cross. From here till the top over there 22 percent profit now we go back to the time before that that's over here a bullish cross the blue line going above that red line At that moment we were at these price levels we went all the way up to there 80 percent now this is how we can keep going on but every time when we see these crosses even here in the bear market this was a 2021 top we had a bear market even the moment we crossed over there, this is that moment there, we went up with 25% in a bear market. Here in the bottom of the bear market, again, we went up with how much? 29%. Every time when we see these crosses, we know that Bitcoin is moving up. Here, the last time in that bull market that we saw that cross was over there, it was this level. When we saw it to the cross, we went up with 511%. So yes, these crosses, in my opinion, are very important and they just happened. What do you think will happen? I believe that we will go up again in price. And if we will go up from the moment that we cross over there, click like 60%, that would be 100K. It would go to the 80% level, you know, the, the level that we also did reach a few times. You know, we would go to over here, 110K. If we would go a few hundred percent, because of this is the bull market, you know, we would go easily to 160K. So yes, I do believe that this one over there is very important. Just like it was over there, just like it was over there, just like it was over there, just like it was over there. And way more important is just like it was there during the bull market. That move that we saw during that bull market was a huge move. So yes, do believe this is going to go up again and come down, but this is a beautiful indication of how much profit you will be able to make in the next upcoming weeks. Now, other charts. This chart shows you the price of Bitcoin on the 26th of May, guys. Uh, on the 26th of May, we were at 69K, my favorite number, 69. A year before that, 27. A year before that, 29. 39, 9, 9, 7, 2, 450, 
Do you see the trend? Every year on my birthday, the Bitcoin price is a little bit higher. And sometimes, yes, we were higher in the bull market top. And then, okay, we came down a little bit, 29, 27. But still, a couple of years later, higher again. So this is amazing to see. This is how Bitcoin moves. We are going higher and higher and higher every time on my birthday as well. We make new highs. So that counts for every day in the four-year cycle. There will be a higher price. So these prices for investing now might seem high to you, but in the next couple of years, in four years' time, it will be higher than this. It will be higher. So it's a long-term investment. And that is what you see on this chart. This is the rolling four-year compound annual growth rate, CAGR, which means you compound all your profits into your capital and how much it then an average grew in the last couple of years, in the four last couple of years. On the 25th of May in 2020, we were at 8,900. 25th of May in 2024, we were at 69,000. This is a 67% CAGR, which means you're in a shitload of profit if you would have bought around that halving in 2016. It also means that you will be in a shitload of profit because you bought around the halving now in 2024. But we need to take you then to 2028 for you to realize, oh wow, I did buy Bitcoin at 63k and now, wow, shit, we are at a few hundred k. These return on investments are way higher than any other asset in the world. So why would I be exchanging Bitcoin to any other asset in the world? if my return on investment here is the highest. Aside of that, I'm flexible. Flexibility is a new stability. I'm liquid 24-7. All the investments in Bitcoin and be able to use them all over the world 24-7. And it's outperforming all the other assets. We are now at the beginning of that cycle over here of the new halving that will take us to a new high above 100k. So all those DMs, should I buy now or are we going to dip to 60k or 50k? It doesn't matter. You should be accumulating Bitcoin because in four year times you will be in a shitload of profit again. It will be outperforming all the other assets, also your euro, also your dollar, also your other fiat shit currencies. It is better to be in Bitcoin than in your fiat shit currency. So it doesn't matter when you buy. It matters that you start buying. And this chart will show you exactly where we are. This was the 2016 halving here, that dotted line. And then we were in that circle. And from there, we moved up all the way from 2016 May, when the halving was, to the 2017 top in December 2017. That's 17 months after the halving. And then we went into the peak and into that bear market of 12 months. And we can see here in the bottom how that RSI also moved. The bottom formation, the bull rally RSI over here, the bear market. This is the bear market, of course. And now look to now. Bottom formation. Almost a copy of this bottom formation. Now we entered the bull market. We have the halving. In the halving, we are in a circle. The peak will be somewhere in 2025. And then we will have a 12-month bear market. And the bull rally will be in this green box mainly above that 70 level, but sometimes also dipping to just below that 70 level. And every time when we go into that darkish, greenish area, just below that 70 level with the RSI, you should be accumulating, that's the dip. And we can have a couple of these huge dips, maybe three of them, just like we had here, three huge dips, but you should be accumulating them, not freaking out, but zooming out and trusting that four-year cycle. And then in September, somewhere 2025, we will go into a bear market again. Maybe it will be a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit later. The indicators will tell us. But the thing that is important to understand now is that we just surpassed that halving. We are in this green box. This is going to be a bull market rally to a peak somewhere in 2025. If that peak will be 500k or 160k, doesn't matter. It will be higher than the price that we are now at. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, especially that halving chart, especially the chart with that green and the red box. We are just entering that green box. That green box is going to all the way take up to 2025 till a beautiful bull market top before we go into that red box that will be a 12 month bear market again. So simple as that. Just stop crying, start buying, zoom out, look at the bigger picture, don't 
freak out about those five minute jars only when you're day trading. If not, just keep accumulating Bitcoin at these prices. Dollar cost average into Bitcoin and we will dollar cost average out of Bitcoin near the bull market top again. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is that you can always claim these extra bonuses and you need to claim these bonuses because they can help you with building up your trading experience. For example, now on Bybit, there is a bonus. If you deposit $100 by using my referral link, the link down below this video, you deposit $100 and you trade $500, you get $100 for free. Now, you might think, oh, but I need to trade $500. That is, of course, very simple. You deposit $100, you take $20 or $25 of that to do a trade with a leverage of 30, for example, then you're trading already $600 or $750, depending if it's like $20 or $25 that you're trading. So leverage of 30, you are trading already a $500 trade. Do that trade, close that trade with a little bit profit or a little bit loss, and you will receive $100 for free. With that free money that you can consider as a kind of bonus training money, you can train your trades, you can start to trade with a little bit more risk because you receive those $100 for free, so you can take a little bit more risk. You can do a trade with 20 leverage or maybe 50 leverage or even 100 leverage because it's free bonus money. But that's how you learn to trade with leverage. So yes, my trading tip for today is these bonuses are all over the industry. Bybit has always beautiful bonuses, so I would now use Bybit, but soon I will also have another beautiful Blowfin bonus. So use these links down below to be able to join all these bonuses at these two exchanges, guys. Trading tip for today, grab your bonus. The travel tip for today, guys, if you are a Bitcoiner or other crypto lover, blockchain lover, whatever it is, in September in Singapore is really, really a crypto hub. Of course, yes, Formula One as well, but you have Token 2 2049, you have many other side events. September is like completely focused on crypto in Singapore. So if you're thinking what to do in September, I would go to Singapore because you will meet a shitload of new friends that are all crypto minded. And aside of that, of course, you can visit all those conferences and side events that also will educate you a lot about Bitcoin. Many projects that I invested in will be there as well at Token 2049. So I will definitely go to Singapore in that period, probably also to see uh, Max Verstappen win at the Formula One again. Yesterday was shit, but Monaco is one of the most beautiful races when it comes to the experience, but it's not really a race. You can't overtake people. I just don't like it. They should do, for example, Portimao in Portugal, amazing racing track where you can still overtake, where, where it's really a race. But yeah, it's my opinion. Uh, I, I, but of course, I'm a Dutch guy. I want Verstappen to win. Uh, he did a win yesterday, but that is my travel tip for the day. September is a beautiful month for Singapore because it's good weather, there is a lot of crypto events, and yes, of course, also the Formula One. So September, see you probably in Singapore. Answering one of the questions is a very good question. This one, the question was, Didi, if all those log charts and all those stock to flow charts and all those charts show that the next halving, we should be around 220,000 US dollar, wouldn't that mean that we need to go way higher in this bull market than that 220,000 US dollar. So in my opinion, it doesn't need to be above uh, that level to create a new halving price of that price. Yes, of course, we can go higher than the 120, than 160K that I'm saying. And all the other models say that, like stock to flow model says that we can even go to 500K in average between now and 2028. So yes, it's possible that we go higher. But for me, it's more easy to be a little bit more bearish. And then I'm always happy. I'm always happy with 120K, 260K. If we go to 250K, I will be happy. And indeed, the next halving, if we look at all the charts, we should be around 220K. But let's say, for example, at the moment, we will make a bull market top of 200K, okay? We will crash 60%. So there would be a 120K crash to 80K. Between 80K and 60K, that would be the bear market bottom. That would be the year of 2006, 27. Then we go a little bit sideways. And then in the next halving year, which then would be 2028, we would slowly crawl up again from at 80K to 100K, maybe to 120K, and we would create a new higher halving that we had now at 60K, even double that one. Maybe even it would be around 200K, and we even went times three again. So it could be building up again all the way to that halving in 2028 to that 200K level, 
small correction again, and then again that bull market in 2029, maybe to a million dollar per Bitcoin. So the fact that the halving around the next cycle should be around 220K doesn't mean we need to make a way higher top now. We can even just go to 160K, drop 50% to 80K, and again build up towards that new halving slowly times three to 300K. Just check this one, this bear market, we were at 3K. And then from 3K, we went times three almost to make a new halving price around 9K, 8,600. So the next bear market bottom, for example, 80K, 60K, 70K, whatever it will be, times three would also come at a halving at 200K. So we don't necessarily need to go higher now because in the future, it's more important how high that bear market bottom will be. And if that bear market bottom will be higher than 63K, because we never go down below the halving price, the previous halving price, so we should be above 63K, and we go times three from the bottom, then indeed we will be around 200K at that next halving, and a million dollar probably at that next bull market top. So yes, I do agree that the charts show us that the next halving should be 200K, but no, it doesn't mean that we need to go higher in this bull market. It's not necessary. It's not a must that we go way higher in this bull market to create a halving of 200K in the next one. The news for today, guys, is about the presidential elections in the United States. If we vote for Trump, he just vowed that he will set Ross Ulbricht free. For all those guys that don't know who Ross Ulbricht is, Ross Ulbricht is the founder of one of the first marketplaces where you could use Bitcoin to buy and sell goods. The name was Silk Road. At that time, a lot of people also sold illegal stuff at that marketplace. So he made it possible, that's what the court said, to sell illegal stuff and buy illegal stuff with Bitcoin. And for that, because he created a marketplace, he got a lifetime sentence. This guy is already now more than 10 or I think even 12 years in prison because he created a marketplace. Everyone wants this guy to be free because at that time, Bitcoin was still this hmm, illegal stuff. And yes, you couldn't create a marketplace. But nowadays, like it's integrated in the United States economical system as a spot ETF. The biggest companies of the world are using Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin, holding Bitcoin. So by now, the world has moved on. So all of these sentences of a guy that created a marketplace where you could use Bitcoin to pay, he didn't determine which goods were being sold. He didn't say like, oh, you're allowed and you're allowed. It was an open source marketplace where everyone could offer their goods and where everyone could pay with Bitcoin. So that some people did offer guns or other weapons or drugs. It was not his fault in my honest opinion. There are so many websites that sell goods and the people are like putting up stuff for free that is stolen or that is illegal. And all those websites allow those people at the moment also to sell it stuff. So President Trump said now, if you vote for me, I will make sure Ross Ulbricht will be set free. That is how Trump is showing all the crypto industry. Hey guys, if you vote for me, I will be nice for Bitcoin. I'm not against Bitcoin. If you vote for me, I will even set one of your OGs free again, free out of jail, because I really believe that he didn't do something really, really wrong. So Trump really wants to win these elections and he really wants to have all the crypto community behind him. And I think he will succeed because a lot of people want to use Bitcoin, see Bitcoin as something legal, positive in the United States, not something like, hey, we need to get all, rid of all those companies in the United States, KYC, AML, all these regulations. People want to be able to invest, use, and curate stuff because of this beautiful new technology, blockchain and Bitcoin. So Trump is really, really, really doing his best to get more votes by giving back what the crypto community wants. Amazing news. So I would like to know now, let me know down below, will this make you vote for Trump? Will you vote for Trump because he will be positive for crypto and because, for example, he will set Ross Ulbricht free? Let me know down below. What do you think about this situation? And then we come to the last part of the video, guys. Of course, the inspirational part. The inspirational part is I celebrated my birthday yesterday. I turned 46 years old. What a beautiful 46 years it was. But it took me a long time, almost 36 years, like 10 years ago, uh, to understand real life, to understand the real goal of life. It took a very long time for me. The first 36 years, I was brainwashed by the system, by the media, even by my parents, into becoming a person 
that was only focused on wealth and generating wealth and because of that becoming happy. Of course, my parents always get me, get me grounded and they always said, Didi, just focus on your passion, focus on football, you know, become the best footballer in the world that will be make you more happy than all the money you can earn. But the moment you grow up in a system, it really forms you, it really tries to mold you into being what they need you to be in the future for that country, for that system. And if I learned something in the last 10 years is that I should have escaped that system way earlier. That system is not made for you and me. The system is made to enrich those above you. That 1% elite that is hanging up there in a triangle like that wants to make you poor and keep you poor and make themselves rich and in control. So that is what I learned in the last 10 years. Now the inspirational part that I want to educate you about is that whatever I did in these last 10 years, life always went on. Life goes on. Whatever choice I made, life goes on. So it's not bad to take a risk. Yes, it's dangerous. Yes, you could lose the overvalue of your house. Yes, you could lose this. Yes, you can lose that. But life will go on. You will always be able to bounce back better, stronger, more intelligent, wiser. Every time again, it just went on. Whatever happened, whatever mistake I made, it went on. If I would have never taken all those risks or all those steps, I would have never discovered what kind of better version of me there would be. So the inspirational part for today is try to break through that vicious cycle, that vicious box, that vicious system that you will be molded in by those governments, by that whole elite class that wants you to be the oil for their companies, for their governments, for their countries. Try to break out of that. Lose the fear of breaking out of that. Because I know what fears are in your head. I know that you now think, if I take that step and something goes wrong, ah, everything is gone, everything is goodbye. That's not true. You open a door, you walk through the door. If you enjoy everything after walking through the door, you stay there. If you don't like it, you go back through that same door, back to that previous life that you were living, that you thought that made you happy. So it's always possible to change back. And even if you open the door and walk through, and you don't like it, there will be a new door to open. Life will always go on. So treat it like that. Do live adventurous. Do take some risks. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought about everything in this video. Yes, tomorrow I will be back more powerful. I will do some trainings today and some healthy juices. And tomorrow I will have my energy back again. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow on a beautiful Tuesday again. Bam.